excited. A dope company by the name of Wild Africa hit me up and was like, let's work. And if you watch YouTube, then you've heard of this company. You know they are super popular and they have some uh, silver bomb wigs. So this is the packaging that their wigs come in. So first of all, you get a couple of goodies before you even get to the wig. Here you have your elastic. It looks like this is a two inch, might be one and a half. Excited about that. And then you get your rat tail comb. I'm gonna end up with a huge collection of these. But before we get the comb, does have their logo right there, really small. Can you focus, can you focus, can you focus? You see that? Um, they have a cashback program, so you can check that out. And then this is um, after sale service card instructions, blah blah blah. And then we get to the way. I'm so excited. So the way comes in a nice, really, really pink bag. And here she is. So the way that I chose is 14 inches. It reminds you right here with a little sticker. Um, obviously, it's natural color, and the item number is CB20. Don't know um, if you'll be able to find the wig that way, but of course, you know I got you back, and I got it linked down below. Okay. So off the bat, she is 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 pre-parted. You have a part here. I like the way the roots kind of look brown. Almost like the knots are bleached. Are the knots bleached? Oh my god, they bleached the knots. So the knots are actually like perfectly bleached on this one. My next thing was I was going to tell you guys we're going to head to my counter right here because I was going to bleach the knots and I don't have to. I think this is one of the first wigs I've seen where they actually bleach the knots and you can tell they did it themselves because um like in the very 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 back there are a couple that didn't take which is very normal but they did an amazing job because they didn't get the bleach on any of the lace super beautiful if I didn't show you this is kind of what the wig looks like and the texture so you know your girl's definitely going to be rocking this and slaying it so pretty much normal cap construction, you have your comb in the back, adjustable straps, you have lace in the back, so if you were to put this one up, you do have baby hairs in the back, you can kind of lay it um, and all of that. And then three combs in the front, and look at that body. So I'm deciding and debating um, what I want to do with this one. I have a few new products, so I think I'm going to do the wet look because I have a few new products that I want to use. But first, let's go. And you see, it literally fits my head, literally. So I'm not going to be adding, adding an elastic band as I thought. Definitely would recommend it regardless if it fits snug or not. But I think I should be okay. Mind you, my son did snatch my wig last Saturday off my head. Thank God we were in the house. But that was kind of a wake up call that, yo, my kids are getting bigger. And at some point, they just might embarrass me in public when it comes to these wigs. So, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off. But before I do, I kind of like to show you what the wig looks with, like with the wet, with the lace on. I kind of feel like it's a little bit pre-tweezed. Again, I did bleach the knots for you so you guys can see. I have no knots. This is a maze balls. And then I pre-parted it for you. But you can also switch the parting up because you can see it's bleached over here as well. Perfect. But what I will say is that I love how the lace on this wig blends with my skin. I feel a lot of the times it has like an orange, yellow, or green tinge to it. One thing that I know really good about this wig is that the lace looks good on my complexion. I feel like a lot of the times the lace um, will have like an orange tinge to it if you bleach the knots. And if you don't bleach the knots, a lot of times the lace will have like a yellow or green tint to it. This one is closest to my skin. So let's go ahead and try to get some baby hair popping and see what we can do to make this wig. First step is just to brush the hair out. You want to see if it's shedding or not. You want to see how it reacts 
detangle all that greatness and just see overall what kind of wig you're working with this one turned nice and fluffy but you can tell it's going to be super amazing once you add some styling products so all I did was I brushed the hair all the way back just to see what we're working with as far as the hairline goes this wig was nicely pre-plugged so I pulled out majority of the baby hair that was provided I trimmed it down to a nice maybe what about quarter of an inch to a half an inch each piece is a different length which I like it to not be so perfect I kind of tease it as I cut it that way it's you know just not a blunt cut and I cut it all the way around now once you cut it down you realize that once you soup it that's going to be way too thick so just use your tweezers to thin it out you're not tweezing in an effort to like make a realistic hairline you're just literally thinning out what's there and I work se section by section once you've tweezed out the baby hair you can also tweeze out going the opposite way in the hair that way where the hair actual hair starts it won't be so blunt and then when it comes to the sideburns you also want to thin those out so that those aren't like nice and chunky and they look a little bit more thin and natural this part I have not perfected but I'm doing better than I did in the past now I'm going to take a new product. This is the Gorilla Snot in the style or the, I guess, brand Sport. Um, I've used the orange one and the yellow one. This one is new to me um, and I actually really like it. And what I can say about this one for my initial reaction is that it does a great job at forming and molding the shape of the baby hair that you want. And then it'll soften back up so that you have nice like featherweight, non-weighed down baby hair that is shaped in the angle or the way that you want it to be shaped but it's not like it doesn't look glued down it just looks soft and airy and you know nice and pretty and dainty you know so go ahead and swoop your baby hairs however you want don't feel frustrated or give up if you swoop them and they're not going right sometimes it takes time just swoop it and let it mold in that way that way when you go back a little bit later it's already molded in that angle and you can kind of go back and perfect it and just take as much as you need this product has like a minty smell to it but it's not sticky um, like the other one the other one is very like sticky and stringy to the touch and this one is more so just a little bit you know looser it's actually a great product now we're gonna work on the rest of the hair we're gonna perfect the parting and I was absolutely amazed and blown away this one definitely looks like scalp they give you a nice full about four inches not sure if it's more or if it's four but I would guess it's about four now you can see it's just a little bit puffy so I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my curling iron I'm gonna go ahead and add my foam lotion and I'm gonna brush it down in the direction that I want the hair to lay the foam is gonna get rid of the flyaways it's gonna help the hair to lay down flat and then a little hump that I like in the front it's also gonna add that for me Now you can already see a huge difference just with the foam lotion, but we're going to take it a step further and we're going to use that hot curling iron to go ahead and seal that in. And this is kind of going to press the hair and it's going to make it super duper bone straight, super flat and look like it's coming out of your scalp. Now an alternative is to use like a hot comb to go ahead and press the hair out. This is just a quicker, easier and I think safer way without using the hot comb. And then of course we're going to go ahead and press out that little hump in the front that we like. So status check, this is where we are so far. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I kind of gave it some moisture. But I didn't add any powder, I didn't bleach the knots. This came all on its own. Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna add my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. I kind of feel like this one really doesn't need like a thick styling situation. It just needs um, just a little bit of a serum. Like you really don't need much with this look. 
which is always a bonus when you can find a wig that doesn't need a bunch of product you guys can see how beautiful the curls are naturally always make sure that if you're going to add shine to the ends that the top portion matches if that makes any sense you don't want to have shine at the ends and the top is dry or the top is you know vice versa <clears throat> and you're good you're literally good to go now this one right here was definitely super easy to work with and low maintenance and i'm presently surprised i was prepared to go to work on this one and you really really don't have to tell me what you guys think i feel like this one literally did not need much work at all but normally at this point i would add my powder to the party when you get a really good close-up on this one you realize you don't need to add the powder i kind of feel like if i add powder you know just out of habit i'm gonna mess around and manipulate it so much that it's gonna be too orange this is kind of like a shade lighter than my skin tone so it kind of looks like naturally what your um scalp looks like because usually your scalp is like a shade or two lighter. um only thing i can say is maybe i can go ahead and customize it a little bit more but i'm kind of like pleasantly surprised and excited because i was expecting to spend so much more time on this wig and i don't need to spend like a million hours customizing it it came customized already for you so if you are new to wigs and experienced with wigs and you don't want to spend you know your time customizing it i would highly 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 and i mean this i highly recommend this company this is my first time working with them this is my first wig actually i'm um, wearing for them but the fact that they were able to send me a wig with knots for bleach and it looked this realistic this is what you want when you bleach knots this is a goal like this is literally goals and the fact that when they bleached them, they didn't get the bleach on any of the hair where it was going to be um over processed over bleached or anything it's literally perfect and it blends with my hairline amazing all I'm missing is my elastic band when you add your elastic it's definitely going to help to make it fit even tighter around the hairline that way when you look at it like this it's going to be even flatter and better than this the density is amazing it's nice and full without being too heavy or too you know crazy yes this is what the wig looks like from the back it was about two to three inches but this is actually a full four this is usually where my wigs almost always go so this is a full four i don't have any complaints there was no crazy tangling there wasn't tangling at all um there was minimal shedding it's just pretty much naturally what you get with any wig um which is just a few strands here and there and of course you get a little extra when you tweeze your hair out or the hairline out but that's it so I highly recommend Wild African. I hope to work with them again because they have some super bomb wigs for you guys. This one actually is super fire. Um, you guys seen I have the curly big wig on. I'm just gonna leave this one on here. This one is gonna be for me. So make sure you check them out. I have the wig that I have on linked in the description bar for you guys to check out. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you are subscribed. And of course, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.